everybody, what's up? Marcos Vegas, Fight Up TV, powered by Stage Run VIP, being joined with Ryan Garcia. Ryan, two days with Gervonta. Just overall, what are your, your thoughts on those two days with them and the interaction you had earlier? It was so boring in NYC. Today was amazing. The vibes are here in LA. You know what it is. Uh, we brought it. I, we brought it today. He wanted to uh, try to, you know, punk me, and then he ended up running into a counter punch, and that's what's gonna happen in the fight. <laughs> now, when you look at the fight, man, like uh, when you see it, what is the biggest difference maker you feel in this fight stylistically against Gervonta? I feel like I'm more ready for the moment. I feel like he, he like he said I had a front, but I feel like I have true confidence. I feel like, you know, he doesn't know he is not ready for this moment. I feel like he's still getting used to it. And I'm gonna and I'm gonna let him walk into something. He's gonna walk into something real real nice. On the flip side, what do you think is like the, the most dangerous thing about Gervonta in this fight? You know, I mean he, what people see, you know, he has a lot of power. He um He's very deceptive in his shots. He likes to come under and go over a lot, but that's what you got to do when you're a little shorter. You got to be a little Mike Tyson. You got to come in. You got to swing the overhand, the hooks, and the uppercuts. It's nothing new. I already know. I got my blueprint. Uh, I got my plan, and uh, I'm gonna execute it come fight night. Describe it to me mentally. It's the night of the fight, and it's whatever round you're in there with Gervonta. Describe how exactly you go and you knock him out, and describe that moment and how everyone's gonna react. I'm just in the locker room. Everybody's loud, but I'm praying to God. And I get that calm sensation over my body. And then I get go in the ring, and I see everything. And that moment can't get to me. And then I find that shot, and I hit him with the left hook. He says, all I got is a left hook. Guess what? That's all I'm going to need. I'm going to put him to sleep come April 22nd. Thank you. Hey, serious. Walk off. Walk off of it. Pops, let's get you in here. Because we, we need the minutes for the content, for the retention, bro. Hey, man, uh, good to see you. He seems super serious, super focused. Well, you know, it, when it comes to this level, you have to be focused and you've got to understand what level we're in. And he, if anybody understands it, it's my son, Ryan. You know, when you look at the fight uh, as well, man, are you also seeing, like, knockout? You feel that there's a high chance that Ryan clips him? Well, you know, if I've seen it in sparring and I've seen it since he was young, yes, definitely, 100%. I mean, he doesn't, he's not there to, you know, sh to test you out or anything. He, he's got a mission, and that mission is going to happen. And that's what he, he's known to do, and that's his mission, like I said, and, and there's no stopping him. I was surprised yesterday about the rehydration uh, thing. I think that's the first time a lot of us had heard about it. Uh, it's, it's a toughie there, but, you know, why did you guys agree uh, to that? Well, I tell you what, there's so many things that we agreed on, <laughs> but had we not agreed on, there would have been some more delays. And Ryan's like said, hey, I just want to fight. I just don't, you know, it's not too far off. Ryan doesn't even rehydrate 10 pounds over anyway, so that was nothing for him. Because I know that's uh, a concern amongst fans is like, oh, what condition is he going to be if he can't rehydrate up? No, let me tell you something. Uh, he's, he's right where we want to be because he knows, like I said, he knows the game. He knows what he has to do. And when you rehydrate, you know, you don't want to rehydrate too much either, you know, because now... You know, what about your speed? What about that? You know, I mean, you got to be careful. You got to be well balanced, you know, and that's where Ryan understands how to be well balanced. And we don't have, we had, we had, we have a problem with that. Okay. Yeah, because I, I would imagine, you know, some people are like, hey, how is he going to be? We saw Oscar with Manny. It was a shell of himself because of he wasn't allowed to rehydrate. Like, we don't want that sort of situation happening. Yeah, that's true. But, you know, the age factor here, you know, I mean, he's young, very young. And he's got what it takes to just succeed right now. And uh, thank God for that. <laughs> How long have you guys been prepping now? Uh, in camp for well, Gervonta? We've been prepping for a while now, uh, a little over a month uh, and a half, uh, on and off, you know, so we're, you know, but, you know, despite all the stuff that was going on and is it going to happen, is it, you know, why isn't it happening, why hasn't there been an announcement, while that's happening, we're working. So, you know, we let everybody else deal with everything and we just do our job. And our job is to prepare ourselves to win. Was there, like, who was the backup? 
The backup for what? The backup fighter in case like this fight didn't happen. Oh, uh, we had two people in mind. One of them was Pro Grace, you know. Yeah, and the other one I believe was um, I forget, but um, Pro Grace was on top of our list. And um, oh, uh, uh, Justa, I think he. Oh, Mercito. Yeah, yeah, Mercito Justa. So he's one of them. But Pro Grace was the was the one on top. Kind of similar to, to Gervonta also, right? You know, somebody that, you know, loves to come and attack and all that. But, you know, we embrace that kind of stuff because, like I said, we've been doing this since we were seven years old. So, I mean, he's got a lot, a ton of experience. He's got a lot of experience. He's a 15-time national champion. That's hard to do. And a lot of people forget about that. See, so many people see him as YouTube star or TikTok, whatever. That's fine, but he does it because, I mean, hey, you know, sponsorships, they love that stuff. And they're like, hey, man, if you could do this and you can, you know, why not? I mean, it's just uh, extra income, you know? I'm glad you brought that point up because I feel like in general people are dismissing Ryan in this fight. I'm sure you've heard it. What do you make of, of people saying, like, he doesn't have a chance, he's going to get knocked out? Oh, see, that's the thing. You don't know Ryan since he was seven years old. He's my son. I know my son more than anybody, more than all the coaches in the world. Ever. This is my son, okay? He did it for a reason, good reason, because he knew he foreseen something. And I told him a long time ago, I said, Ryan, if, there's, if you ever want to shine, I said, you got to understand one thing in life. He goes, what's that? I said, you need to entertain. He goes, your skills are developing. That's great, and we're going to continue that. But once you know how to entertain and you got the crowd behind you, it's over. Brother. It's game over. Beautiful. Let's talk X's and O's in this fight. Uh, you know, who has the most advantages in this fight, in your opinion? Well, here's the thing. You know, uh, the advantages for us, you know, is Ryan's got the height. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ryan has speed and Ryan has power. Okay. And Ryan has God in his heart. Okay, when you have all those four elements, you know, it makes you a fighter that has a lot of advantages, you know. And he knows how to use them. He knows how to use them. I'm not saying Tank doesn't either. Tank does too, you know. But I've always told people, and Ryan said it, and I told my son a long time ago, I said, if you really think about it, Ryan has, uh, Davis has fought guys that were moving up in weight. If you move up in weight, you must have the height and the power to go with it. You have to, unless you're an exception, you know, of course, you know, but very far and few, okay? But if you have somebody that's tall and doesn't have power, well, of course you're gonna beat them, you know? And I'm gonna go even further than that. There is nobody that Tank has fought better than Luke Campbell, because I've seen it myself. My, not mind. Barrios, not Roly, not Hector Garcia. Okay. Have you ever seen them? Have you ever heard of those guys? Roly, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But Roly. Well, well, I work in boxing, so yeah, no, I've, I've heard of but Barrios. Roley, yeah, but not as much as, you know. Yeah. Roly's did good, but again, he started late. That was his, his fall, downfall, okay? Right? When you say late, like started boxing late. Yeah, started boxing late. So uh, that hurt him. You know, again, you have to have a pedigree. If you don't have a pedigree, you're not going to understand what people, what fighters are trying to lure you into. You know, there's a setup here. There's a game plan. And if you don't understand that coming into a fight, you are going to get knocked out. You know, but you have to be prepared. And that's what we're prepared for. Why is Ryan so confident that he is able to knock out Gervonta? What, what do you guys see there? Well, it's just... A matter of fact, that if 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 you want to come in and you want to ex be explosive, when you're explosive, what's the first thing that happens? And when you're very aggressive, what's the first thing that happens? You leave yourself open. Ah, mingo, mingo, <laughs> mingo, 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 <laughs> bingo. That's a, number one answer. Okay, yeah. is that you leave yourself open because you're like aggressive. Yeah. What happened to Roly when he was like, you know, okay. Tank's got to be careful because if you miss, oh my God, my son's one of the best counter punches in boxing. He will find it. I mean, he's got the precision, you know, thanks to my bag, of course, and our training. Oh, I meant your, I thought you meant your bag. 
Oh, the, your your back. genetics, your genetic, right. no, your reflex back. I hear talk, yeah. yeah. That's WWE. When, yeah, we won't even get in that. But I'm telling you, it, it has improved him, yeah. and he's got precision, and that's key. See, and that's how he knows. That's how Ryan knows that. Hey, you make a mistake, just like Luke Campbell did in the fifth round. Boom, he's gonna catch you. And boy, he is gonna be watching Tank to make that mistake.